in this video we are going to make two dimensional drawing and we'll be using the A3 drawing board the A3 drawing board has a sliding scale which is technically called as the T square the T square has a notch and the notch gets into the groove and make sure that the T square is always in horizontal position or it is in a true vertical position. The T square has a button here and here which will help us lock the T square in position. By using these buttons and by pressing here the T square can be held in any desired position. You should always release the locks and then you can slide the T square. Now, in the first drawing, we will take this drawing. In this task, you are asked to scale down this drawing to 1 is to 2. So when I say 1 to 2, it means that all these dimensions have to be reduced. So when it says 30, 30 will become 15, 40 will become 20, likewise 60, 20 and 80 will become 30, 10 and 40 millimeters. You are asked to draw the drawing on an A4 sheet. So we will be using an A4 sheet. Always draw the border and then the title block. The dimensions for title block and the borders are already given in the task. I will place the task somewhere here for your reference. After drawing the layout, we will be drawing the diagram. Right. So take an A4 sheet. Place the A4 sheet in proper position. There is a groove here to ensure that the paper is horizontal. And press the lock. Release the lock here and slide the paper inside so that your paper will not move. Now, draw the layout first. For drawing the layout, we are going to have a border on four sides and the border dimension is given as 10 millimeters. So I am just making a mark for 10 millimeters here. 10 millimeters on this side. Similarly, 10 millimeters here and another 10 millimeters here. Right. And again, in the lower section, I will mark another line for 10 millimeters so that I can draw the label as well. Now, place the paper in position. Horizontal. Make sure the horizontal is good. Okay. This is also good. So, I placed it likewise. Now, make use of the T square. Bring it to this position and draw the horizontal. And when you want to draw the vertical, you can either place the T square like this or you can place the T square like this. Whichever way is it com comfortable for you. So, first let me start drawing this vertical. Okay. You already know how to draw the border. So, let me fast forward this step. The next thing I am going to do is, I am going to make use of a set square. The edge of that set square should be held very close to the T square and then I will slide it like this. When I slide it, you can see that this edge is making a perpendicular line and this edge is making an inclined line of 45 degrees. So I will tell you why we use it later. Now I am just going to draw vertical lines. Let me start the drawing by having a reference line. I am just drawing a reference line so that the drawing is roughly in the middle. I am drawing a construction line like this. I am going to make the entire drawing based on this. Then 
I'll draw one more horizontal line like like so maybe somewhere here right I'm good with this now for your reference uh, the drawing is going to be placed here the dimensions in the drawing are given as it is given in the question right so we are going to scale it down to half because the scale is 1 is to 2 now take the compass we are going to draw a circle here the circle should have a radius of 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters now you can see that there are calibrations here and there is a small hole here that you can find where you can place the compass adjust the pencil in a way that it is measuring 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters right let me draw the circle here I'll keep the this is the center I'm going to draw a simple circle like so then there is a rectangular portion which comes below which is which has to be drawn somewhere here I'll place the T square I'll lock the T square I'll make use of the set square and then I'm going to draw vertical lines but the vertical lines should be drawn 20 millimeters apart so I'm marking 20 millimeters like this 10 millimeters on the left of the reference line and 10 millimeters on the right of the reference line so I'm keeping like this right and the vertical line 3 centimeters in height or 30 millimeters and drawing it like this similarly I'm moving the set square to the next position 30 millimeters I'm drawing a line now having drawn this I'll unlock the T square I'll bring it down I'll draw the horizontal line then so I have to draw the next horizontal line 10 millimeters down you can make use of the scale and then mark one millimeter one centimeter here one centimeter here and then you can bring it lock it exactly on the scale now the dimension here has to be 40 so I will draw 20 on this side and 20 on this side so from 15 like this and again unlock move it down lock it in position and then again draw the horizontal lines like so the horizontal lines are done now to draw the vertical line and I'll make use of the set square again move the set square like this draw the vertical draw the vertical now I told you that this edge helps me to draw 45 degree lines so I will move it like this and then I am drawing it like so similarly I will turn the set square move it like this and then I will draw the I mean the inclined line it is done now I don't want this arc here so I will try to erase the arc having erased the arc move it down and then draw the horizontal line it's done I want to make the circle a bit darker so that it looks the object lines are darker so draw the circle there you go now the next thing that we have to draw is we have to draw the center line to draw the center line I will be drawing chain lines Let's draw the dimension lines now have extension lines like this so. 
use the t square in this position again i am drawing the extension lines and then the dimension line and when you draw the dimension line the arrow has to be sharp and solid now this is the dimension line make the arrow and then write the dimension here similarly when you write the dimension of the circle we are going to do it like this we will make use of the set square then bring your horizontal the arrow has to be drawn here and then write radius 15 millimeter 15 millimeters now that's the drawing we have everything here if you want to erase the construction lines yes you can erase it so that the drawing looks neat that's it that's how you draw the first one